What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video. So today we are going to continue working on my fiance's new GP760. As I mentioned in the last video, the seat cover on that thing was looking a little bit worse for wear and it's time to get it looking nice again. So the seat cover we're using is from a company called Ritco Products. It's the same company where I've got both sets of traction mats and it's just off eBay. They just have their own company too. That's just where I ended up finding them to buy them off of. And it's a super high quality marine grade vinyl. I really like the feel and fit of this thing. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And it's not super slick like even the factory seat covers are. It's like a pretty grippy neoprene. It almost feels like sort of a fake leather that you'd find in a vehicle. So I really like the feel of it. The stitching looks super nice. So we've got that. In addition to that, I've just got a pneumatic stapler. It takes 3 8 staples. You can use more or less depending on what you want. 3 8 is just a pretty good size. It's going to help that fabric stick right to there. They do make electric ones too, but you can get into this pneumatic one for I think about $40. I picked this up from the Plus your staples, so really pretty cheap investment and you can always end up using it for something else. In addition to that, we've got a couple sets of pliers just for pulling the old staples out of the old seat and also a screwdriver for the same purpose. Now a lot of places will tell you that you don't have to pull the old fabric off of your seats. Realistically, you probably don't have to. That's going to be purely up to you. I'm going to choose to go ahead and pull that off, just get rid of it. That way I don't have any of that nasty stuff still on there. And then go ahead and get started on the new seat. So that's what we're going to be starting with today, is pulling off the seat and then pulling that old fabric off. So let's go ahead and get to it. So we're going to start with the rear seat. As you guys can see here, it's got tons of staples all around on this fabric. And it's just all black, kind of, I don't know if that's mildew or if it's just dirt. Either way, it looks nasty. I don't even want that underneath my new fabric. So we're just going to completely get rid of it. So you can see it's just going to be pulling out all those staples. It's going to be tedious, but we'll get it done and it shouldn't take too long. get this new cover on basically first thing we'll do is just kind of take the fabric and kind of stretch it out over where it needs to go I guess it's gonna go yeah the black goes toward the back here so basically just get it kind of fitted into place where we know it's gonna go and then we can start really stretching it and start tacking it down we really want to get this placement right to begin with though, otherwise we'll be fighting it for the rest of the installation. Go ahead and start by tacking down the front lip of the fabric, kind of right here in the center. Hopefully don't do any double shots, or triple like it looks like I did. We got that front edge kind of tacked down. Continue stretching the fabric out. Work this over here to the edge a bit. Tack that down to hold it. Keep pulling everything, make sure it's nice and tight. corner here. Okay, as you can see it's getting Pretty nice there. Once we pull it over to this side, it's really going to make all that come together nicely.
right guys, so the rear seat is done. As you can see, there's still kind of a crease mark there from where the fabric was folded in the package. But other than that, I think it looks really good. Again, this is, I'm not a professional at all. This is my first time ever doing something like this. So you guys can definitely do this too. Just really try to stretch out the fabric as good as you can, get it set out how you want it. And then just really take your time going all the way around the edges and making sure everything gets stapled down nice and tight, the fabric gets stretched. This crease here, I'm thinking it will probably go away as it gets used once the sun gets on it and everything, it'll kind of lay down more flat. That's another thing you guys could do if you wanted before you get going on this is lay your fabric out on a table or something in the sun just to kind of warm it up and that way it makes it a little more stretchy, I guess you'd say. So rear seat's done, we'll go ahead and move on to the front. I've been working on the seat covers for a bit now and I guess somebody is a little upset that he's not being paid attention to. Mouse, come here. What are you doing? Quit howling. You want to come help? Whatever. So now we're moving on to the rear seat, obviously. Got it pulled out. Um, I'm not going to show you guys pulling out all the staples. I really don't see the point in that. It's just going to bore you guys. And this is obviously going to be the same process as the rear seat. It's just going to take a heck of a lot longer because there's probably three times as many staples. So that's about all I got to say about that. I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and then I'll get back with you guys once I go to stretch the new fabric on this thing. All right, so we just got the old cover off of the front seat and that took us about 25 minutes to get off. I ended up using this small flathead screwdriver. It's uh, eighth size. I ended up using that to kind of pop all the staples loose. That seemed to help quite a bit because my wrist was starting to really hurt just pulling each one out with the needle nose pliers. So using the screwdriver, pop each one loose, then drug them all out, came right off. So ended up taking about 25 minutes in total. So the seat's completely ready to go and we'll go ahead and start stretching the new fabric on it. All right guys, so we got the front seat up here, obviously, getting ready to stretch that cover on. As you can see, it's gonna be a little more complicated than the rear seat was, because you kind of got this curvature of the seat. So that part's gonna be a little more complicated to get tight. I don't think I'm gonna be able to start in the back as much. I'll probably actually have to kind of start on the sides and really get that just sucked down on there and tight on the center part, and then I can stretch it around these upper kind of bolsters of the seat. So we're going to get started on that. and that is going to do it for the front seat as well. I don't know if you guys saw, I'm probably not gonna put the whole footage of everything that I did in here with the front seat because it gets pretty lengthy and boring, but I did end up having to take this off a couple times. I ended up screwing up where I was starting. You just really have to make sure you get the whole fabric as centered in here as you can. And just really start, I found that stretching it toward here and kind of like tacking it here with just a couple staples and then just working your way back and really just stretching it. And you almost want to work it like you're like putting on a piece of vinyl on a car or a sled wrap or something. And you just uh, you basically work out air bubbles and just push them toward the edges and just pull it tighter and tighter as you work your way across. This still isn't perfect, but I'm not too disappointed with it for being my first time trying to do something like this. And the nice thing about it is the whole new seat cover for the front and rear seats was like $89, I think. So I can always redo it later if I want, and I'm not gonna be out all that much. 
If you guys are wanting to do some seat covers on your jet ski, I'll go ahead and throw the link to their where I got these from. The guy also sells seat covers for a lot more than just the GP760s. He's got jet ski parts for lots of jet skis, probably most out there. So, and also lots of different color options you can customize. You don't have to go yellow and black. That's just what I did, because obviously it matches the colors of the rest of the skis. So, we're gonna go ahead and slap this on there. Hopefully we'll be hitting the lake here before too long. And this thing will look really good out there. So here's kind of an idea for you guys, sort of before and after. So here's my jet ski here on the right. Now, as you can see, it's still got the factory seat covers on, still looking nice and dirty. And then over here is Kenzie's jet ski. It's got super nice, that really transformed the look of it. These things look so good. The yellow matches pretty much perfectly. I don't think it's any different the shade than these. These are a little bit obviously discolored from time, but those match perfectly with the yellow of the jet ski. So I really like the way those look. I'm super happy with they, how they came out. Definitely be doing it to this one here as soon as I can get some more ordered in here. If you guys got any questions on the process, feel free to hit me up. I'm sure I left something out and I'm more than happy to help you guys out with what little I do know about these. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one.